Good morning, Year Two, and welcome to our next maths lesson. So today in maths, it's actually our last step in our division block of learning before we review our learning through a quiz tomorrow. So today is our second lesson on dividing by 10. So please pause the video here to write the date 9.2.21 and the learning objective divide by 10. Well done you two. Okay, so thinking about our steps to success today. First of all, we need to read the word problem and highlight the key information. So this might mean reading the question more than once. I know I definitely find that really helpful. Then write the division once you know what the question is asking you. And then show your method. So share between 10 equal groups or group in tens, depending on what the question is asking you. And then lastly, write the answer, including in a full sentence if you are solving a word problem. Okay, so in our review phase today, we are going to be focusing on dividing by 10 also, as that was our small step yesterday. The question says, apples can be sold in packs of 10. How many packs can be made below? So when answering this question, the stem sentence is, when 30 apples are sold in packs of 10, who packs of apples can be made? And the question is also asking, can you show this in a bar model? So year two, what I'd love you to do is pause the video here, explore what you can see in the array, write the division, show your thinking in a bar model, and say the stem sentence aloud to answer this question. So please pause the video here. Well done year two, great thinking. Okay, let's explore this together. So apples can be sold in packs of 10. So packs of 10 is some key information that I'm going to underline. And as you can see here, if we have a look at the array, we can see that in each row, there are 10 apples. So we are looking at our packs of 10 in each row. The question then says, how many packs can be made below? So the key information is how many packs? Okay, so I'm just going to remove this highlighted line away from the array so we can see it whole again. Okay, brilliant. So first of all, I'm thinking, what is the whole amount of apples? Because that's going to be our dividend in our division sentence. So year two, what is the whole amount of apples? Well done, the dividend is 30, as that is the total amount of apples all together. Brilliant. And what are we dividing by year two? What is the divisor? Well done, we are dividing by 10. As we know from reading the question, looking at the key information, apples can be sold in packs of 10. So shall we read our division so far? 30 divided by 10 equals, mm, brilliant. Okay, so let's have a look at our array. And we're going to have a look at the rows of 10 to find out the quotient. So we have one row of 10, two rows of 10, and three rows of 10. So our division is 30 divided by 10 equals three. Brilliant, should we say it together? 30 divided by 10 equals three. Well done, you two. Okay, we're going to answer the question together now by using the stem sentence. When 30 apples are sold in packs of 10, three packs of apples can be made. Okay, so can you show this in a bar model? Hopefully you've had a go at this already this morning. So as you can see in the bar model, there are three equal parts, which represents the three packs of apples. So I'm wondering what the amount is inside each equal part if each part represents a packet of apples. What do you think? Well done. There are 10 apples inside each pack. So we have three equal groups of 10 
just like we can see on the array with three rows of 10. Brilliant, well done year two. Okay, so today there's going to be a couple of explore questions before you move on to either the arithmetic or reasoning questions, okay? So our first explore question says, I have 70p in my pocket made up of 10p coins. How many coins do I have? Draw a picture to prove your answer. So I'm going to highlight the key information as I read the question again, so I'm really sure of what it's asking me. I have 70p in my pocket. So 70p is the whole amount, which means it must be the dividend in our division. So I have 70p in my pocket made up of 10p coins. That's also some key information. How many coins do I have? So again, we're finding out how many. Draw a picture to prove your answer. Okay, over to you, year two. What I'd like you to do is pause the video here, write the division first of all, and then draw a picture to prove your answer. So what I'd like you to do is draw circles to represent the 10 P coins like you can see in the picture here, and you have 10 P inside each coin to solve this question. So say aloud the stem sentence, you have mm, 10 P coins at the end, okay? And then we're gonna come back together. Brilliant, well done year two. You are really flying high today. Okay, I'm going to share my thinking with you now. So as you can see here, we are solving the division of 70 divided by 10 equals mm. And just like you have, I've drawn my 10p coins to find out how many coins there are, okay? So shall we count to find out how many 10p coins there are? Are you going to join in with me, you two? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven coins, brilliant. So just to check that we have the whole amount, let's count in our tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Brilliant, so we definitely had the whole amount, which was 70p. So let's read the division. 70 divided by 10 equals seven. Brilliant, and now to answer the stem sentence, you have seven 10p coins. Brilliant. Well done, you two. So just like we were exploring yesterday, we have a look at our dividend, 70. You can see that the seven here represents seven tens, and there is a zero in the ones column, as there isn't any ones. When we divide by 10, the dividend becomes 10 times smaller. So as you can see here, we when looking at our quotient, we no longer have any tens and the seven acts in the ones place. Okay, so as you can see, 70 has become 10 times smaller. So it's also great to be thinking about that today. Okay, so let's move on to another explore question together. Riley says, if I know eight times 10 equals 80, then I also know 80 divided by 10 equals 80. Is he correct? Explain your answer. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna think about the key information. If I know eight times 10 equals 80, so that's Riley's multiplication fact he's using to help him, then I also know 80, that's the dividend, divided by 10, which is the divisor, equals 80. So 80 is the quotient. Hmm. What do you think here two? Please pause the video here to discuss using the sentences, I think Riley is mm, I know this because, okay? So please pause the video here and engage in your mathematical discussion. 
Well done, you two. I loved your reasoning skills. Okay, I'm going to share my thinking with you now. So I think Riley is incorrect. I know this because 80 divided by 10 equals 8. Whereas Riley thought it was 80, didn't he? Well spotted, year two. Okay, so thank you for your engagement so far this morning, year two. You've been amazing. So now thinking about our independent learning, if you would like some more practice with dividing by 10, here are some arithmetic questions. You're feeling confident enough to move on already. Please begin with the reasoning questions. As I shared during the steps to success, please write the division and answer using a full sentence in your maths book. So for example, question number one says there are 10 candles in a packet. So I'd be thinking about the key, underlining the key information. There are 10 candles in a packet. Abby needs 50 candles. How many packets does Abby need all together? So again, we're thinking about how many. So the division would be 50 divided by 10 equals m. Mm. And the stem sentence is Abby needs m mm packets. So you're answering the question in a full sentence, okay? So here is question one and two. You can also find these questions on the class story with the answers. Page, I'm sorry, question three and four. Here it says put a ring around the numbers, but you can just write the numbers in your book. Question five. And as there wasn't many of these questions on this resource, I've also provided some extension questions if you'd like to engage with these. As I know normally we have around eight or nine when we have this style of lesson, but it's up to you to manage your time effectively. So here we have number six. And seven, which will be in a separate document on the class story. And number eight. So like I say, please review your learning by having a look at the answers on the class story on Class Dojo. I hope that you really enjoyed today's learning in Mass Year 2 and I continue to be so, so proud of you. So well done.